Good morning, everyone. A very, very hearty welcome for today's morning meditation. Let us all collectively bow down, raise our Kundalini, and put ourselves into a Pandana. Let us all begin with collectively listening to Sri Ganesh Atharvashesh. And while we do that, let us put our complete attention on our first energy center, which is the Muladhar Chakra. If you wish, you can also place both your hands on or towards the Mother Earth as we listen to or sing along the Ganesh Atharvashesh. Yeah, Brown. 
Yeah, my little 
Let us all meditate in silence, just for a few minutes. And let us try to keep our attention on the top of our head. And then we will be listening to a talk given by Shri Mataji. So let's just enjoy the silence for a few minutes. So this business of falling in love, this nonsense that we have here, that you fall in love, but the word is all right because you fall really in love. It's a real falling happens. So what happens when you start falling in love? There's a kind of a maya of this Mahakali. And you just get infatuated, your ego get pampered or something like that, or you have certain ideas of a wife or something, and then you think, oh, that's the one for me. So in these cases only two things can happen. Either you can be lost completely because of your wife or your husband whom you adore and admire and you finished, I mean your personality is finished. Or else the another thing which is even more serious is that that will completely break forever and hate each other. That's why they say that there's a love and hate relationship. How can love be hate? But it becomes because of the this quality of the goddess that she is on one side is extremely loving, extremely kind, extremely soft. She goes up to a point. And then she throws you on the other side. And that is why in these countries where people always fall in love, you see, they don't marry otherwise, unless and until they have fallen in love. In that, they cross all the mariyadas also. In falling in love, they will marry somebody who is already married or who is, they will carry on with somebody who is not yet divorced or also they will have marriages uh, among themselves in the 
same household or something, all kinds of things they do. An old woman marries a young man or a young uh, old man marries a young girl like that, all nonsensical things without any maryadas. And they do not stick together. They have no maryadas. So marriage is to create a maryada, maryada of your behavior. And this is the maryada which if you do not keep, uh, keep, then this Mahakali gets into it. So first of all, one has to be collective. The ones who are not collective who do not attend every time a collective program. You might give suggestions that you would like to come for such a such thing. For example, I have already explained that you shouldn't talk. Put my, there are so many tapes which they have not, never heard. Just let them listen to my tape, then go into meditation and then do the art and finish it off. Because these tapes are to be heard again and again. Now those who get any questions out of those tapes can next time discuss it before starting the tapes. That's a very good thing and that works. In India nobody speaks. They just put my tapes on or show my video. After that they just have meditation and arti. Finished. After that nobody talks. But before starting it, they do it, is to talk to each other and discuss the problems or discuss anything that they felt about the previous program. Because you have not come here to marry someone or to fall in love into something. You have not come here to get after some woman because she's your wife or some man because he's your husband. You have had so many husbands and wives in pe previous lives. But you have come here for your ascent. And if you have come for your ascent, you have to keep a watch. How is your mind working? Supposing I say that you should have good married life. Of course I do say you should have good married life. But not at the cost of losing your ascent. It has happened with people. We have lost a complete I should say a city like that. Such stupidity came, comes up over people. So be careful not to get lost. You have not come here to have only a happy married life, but happy married life is just one step. But if that step is taking you away from the real path of your ascent, it's better to be careful. Also we must understand the innocence means purity, purity of thought. As I explained yesterday, I hope you understood the meaning of purity. Purity is to be understood much more by Europeans, very important, especially French. Because the whole society is suffering. Society can only be pure if the family life is pure, not only that, but your relations with each other are pure. Like I was told that somebody fell in love in Ganpati Pune. I mean, you go for a pilgrimage. It's like you have to go to buy a sari and you end up with a shaving stick. Is that stupid? You are coming to Ganpati Pune for, for what? You are coming there for your ascent. It's a pilgrimage. But in the pilgrimage I've never heard anybody falls in love with each other and goes to marriage. So this bhut of falling in love must be given up in such a way. That is one of the biggest loads. And now must, one must understand that purity means chastity. <coughs> Innocence means chastity. Not only physical, also mental chastity. You have to have mental chastity. If you don't have mental chastity, you cannot ascend. Actually, in the West, it is more mental than physical. It's a fact. 
And that's why their brains now have gone off. And they are becoming just like, I think, potatoes now. I think. Because if you go on mentally imagining and playing around and working it out this way, it's going to be absolutely dangerous because it's all imagination. It has nothing to do with reality. The more you get into this kind of a nonsense, the more you become away from reality. That never means you should be dry. It never means you should be uh, <coughs> negligent of your responsibility. Does not. Mean. As I said, the sap. My purse was there. Khadi Radhi Bhatti had the card. As I have said, that the sap in the tree rises, all right? Then it purifies, it nourishes every part of the plant separately in a different way. Like it's a mother, so mother. Father is a father. Sister is a sister. Brother is a sister. Brother is a brother. The brother-sister relations cannot become husband-wife relations. How can it be? <laughs> now, what happens really is that such a confusion in the mind, and it has created tremendous problems for us. Then the sap nourishes all these things and comes back. It doesn't get attached to something, oh, she's my wife, so the first priority is my wife. Because I've said, of course, family life has to be all right. You must look after your family life. But that doesn't mean that you make everything suffer. That doesn't mean that your ascent should be finished. It cannot mean that. You are not like ordinary people, you are saints. And for the saints, the main thing is their ascent, not their family life, not their material possessions, nothing. Not their children, but their ascent. Once they ascend, everything will ascend with it. Now the understanding of chastity should be there. It can come to you very easily if you are sent. It's such a vicious circle. It is such a vicious circle. Now, first of all, you get your realization, all right? Now, you must know that Kundalini itself is the Mahakali Shakti because she is the primordial. Mahakali Shakti is the primordial Shakti within us. And is the Kundalini is the Mahakali Shakti. And she remains as a virgin within you. And she is purity. She has a power to purify. All that happens when you get your realization. She starts manifesting her all beautiful aspects are you. Now the one who is sitting there is Sri Ganesh. Now people don't understand what is innocence is. Sri Ganesha is sitting there and he is the one who presides over Muladhara, even over his mother because he's like a god. And he's the one who tells whether she can ascend or not. Unless an until he gives permission, she cannot ascend. So Sri Ganesha gives the ascending sort of a, okay, all right, you can rise. And he stops all his work. You have seen the, me sitting for hours together. 
I don't have to go even to the bathroom or anywhere because Ganesha stops all his work. He's only worried now about the ascent. And on every chakra, he checks your purity. And then, accordingly, the Kundalini tries to purify. But when it reaches the mental level, mental level has all these funny ideas of romance, this nonsense, that nonsense. I was surprised the other day, there was a girl who was having a trouble with her husband of expressing her love to her husband after marriage. Before marriage, she was all right. So I told her, read some book where they have described uh, the romance between husband and wife. So she said, there is no book I have known. Then I asked one professor to find out. He said, there's no such book. In Sahaja Yoga, the romance starts after the marriage. But also with Maryadas, not at the cost of Sahaja not at the cost, cost of your ascent. So all these ideas people have in the West, I know you are so much conditioned about it. So we say, now let us see, this is Samaya Achara. After all, we have to give all the benefit to that. Now we select people, we do everything. It's all the work of Makali, because you have to work on the vibrations. It's all the work of Mahakali. And after marriages also, some marriages do fail. The reason being, they do not know what is the purpose of their marriages. So the first and foremost thing of Mahakali is that she's purity. Absolute purity. And that purity, if we cannot imbibe within us, we cannot be surgeons. Now this mind is so much conditioned, I know. Our children would be much better off than ourselves. But they won't have these conditionings as we have had. And so many problems can be just avoided if we really become pure people. I see in the other society in which I move, nobody seems to be safe. Somebody's wife is running with somebody's husband, somebody's daughter is running with somebody's father, somebody's running, uh, a boy running with somebody's mother. Next day you find somebody else standing there as husband wife. Or sometimes it's so this funny that you can't believe it, how can it be? And everybody's in danger. A man goes to the house, he stay, finds his wife run away with another man. Or a man goes for his work, he's run away with another woman. So the, she, she's the one, she gives you sthiti, the state. Sthiti means consolidation. Without your proper consolidation, into your purity, not into your romantic life, you cannot rise. Like when we make the aeroplane, first we have to consolidate it, fix it up properly, work it out, so that when it goes in the air, all its parts do not fly away with the passengers. In the same way, when we are ascending, Sri Ganesha does that. He just stops the action of excretion completely and the ascent starts. They are doing their work all right, despite the fact they have been insulted, they have been neglected, we have misbehaved, whatever we might have done. They are doing their jobs all right. You can see so many people getting their answers. But what are we doing about it? We cannot be even collective. We cannot attend collective things. And look at them how generous they are. They are extremely collective. They are extremely collective. 
to such an extent that somebody is supposing worships Sri Krishna. His heart will catch. Why? Because you must also worship Shiva. They are so collective and so much connected with me. So they are all collective in the same way you are also devas, you also should be collective. As soon as you become collective, all these nonsensical things will drop out. All these ideas will drop out. You do not become collective because you have not dropped out all these things or else you are afraid of dropping them out. So let us know what is our purpose. Our purpose is to ascend. And what is the Mahakali power is doing for us? She is giving you your ascent through Kundalini. She is purified. She is giving you all the powers. She is protecting you all the time. She is giving you joy. But what are we doing for her? Her only, only desire is that my children should be saintly, that they should have beautiful qualities of a saint, that he doesn't fall at every woman, fall at every man. He's not so cheap, you see. And mentally especially. I mean, if the sastrana is spoiled, how can Sahaja Babar come? The whole play is of the sastrana. And that purity should manifest. Through you we are going to change the world. Through no one else. The Sahaja Yogis who are going to change the world. just meditate in silence.
Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you so much for joining this morning. I hope you have a very, very beautiful and a Sahaj day ahead. Let us all collectively bow down, raise our Kundalini and put ourselves into a Bandhan. I'll just place the music for you to enjoy for another few minutes and then we'll finish up the meditation for today. Jai
you enjoyed that beautiful bhajan and like I said before thank you for joining this morning and I hope you have a very very beautiful day ahead uh, if you've joined us late uh, please don't worry this meditation will be uploaded on the Sahaja Yoga QLD Facebook group so as soon as we finish the broadcast now you can go back on the group and replay this meditation or any other meditation there's heaps of meditations uploaded on that page. Um, so please feel free to still um, have a complete meditation and enjoy one in your own time. Um, this is just for all the new people who have been joining the group lately. Um, anyway, all the morning meditations happen at 5 a.m. Uh, Brisbane time, which is based in Australia. So wherever you are you can convert your local time according to whatever time it is right now so again please have a beautiful day ahead we're finishing the meditation now jesh mataji <laughs>